and listen, I've, I'm in the best place of my life, uh, mentally, but, and cause everything's been finally paying off, like in terms of like all the work of, of meditation and all that stuff. Yeah. But in line, as I kept going in line and out of line, trying to buy a ticket, try to figure out how to charge my phone, I kept changing my expectations. So I completely changed, um, what's helpful is as I was flying out of Boise, I downloaded a book on uh, uh, Audible called uh, The Art of, no, not the, the, the Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. I thought you already read that. I finished it uh, on my way to, oh, that was to Palm Springs. That's what I did, read it. Oh. So, but because I, it was just only a week and a half that I've, that I went through that book, uh, the, the whole premise with that book was the, it's not necessarily that you don't care about stuff and go like, oh, who cares? I don't care about that. It's more of like we get riled up by things that are probably not that important. They're not life changing. Mm -hmm. So if we like, the, so what he's saying is, and for part of my language, he's like, it, the, the subtle art of not giving a fuck is the fact that we are giving too many fucks about things that don't matter. Like uh, my car broke, you know, it's, it's like what uh, I, I, could, I couldn't get the, the, the new 2022 model car because it's on back order. It's because like the of, first world so, problem exactly. thing. And, but then he breaks it down into either smaller stuff, right? Because then he says like once you start looking at uh, partially like the optimistic side, but he goes – instead of looking for what the thing is that's not going wrong, think about what that thing is not. Mm -hmm. And so like by me having a liver, I was like, well, I'm still going to get home. And then I kept reevaluating through that perspective of like, what is good news for me? You know, I get, so finally, after the second time I get back in line, I go, okay, the good news would be for me is if they have a flight that they could see that I can't see. And then the good news is if I don't have a lay, if I don't have a standby, but I actually have a ticket ticket. Mm -hmm. And even if it's not till t the next day in 24 hours or something like that, then at least I have perspective and I could plan around that. So you kind of keep constantly reevaluating, not for what the news is, but what for the news is not. Like mm -hmm. you're still going to get home. It just looks a little bit different. And I, not at one point, like, would you have called me and be like, oh, Alex is probably going to be really stressed. It's like, no, I'm just exhausted and I'm, you know, tired. I'd love to find a good bench to sleep on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm proud of you that you, like, you stayed calm and cool. It, it was, yeah, it was I great. I feel like I made a, maybe would have cried a few times. There was a gal in line, two people behind me cried. I think I would have been crying by then. then Especially went, I, if you I have, went, like, ew. somewhere in, <laughs> ew, ow. I was like, your it's, mascara is running. <laughs> you, like, give her a tissue. Here, mm -hmm. girl, you need something. Um, nobody I said nobody likes an ugly cry. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like if you have somewhere important to go and you're like missing an important event, like a wedding or like three people in line I mean, with a wedding, a funeral. I don't know yeah. anything like big. Yeah. It's so sad to like be missing it. And you're just stuck at the freaking airport. I yeah. would be so sad. But yeah, I, I completely agree. But based off of this book, what I took away from it was a wedding. If it's like your daughter getting married off. I don't Which I'm know. I'm sure they would do everything they could, like the flight, the there, no, travel agents. No, but if stuff. there's no flight, there's no flight. Yeah. They're not going to be like, oh, your situation is different than this situation. That's not a thing. That's absolutely not a I thing. I think at that point, you would have to ask actual individual, like passengers. Can I trade can, you? Can I? They can have your ticket. And, yeah. and then, you know, good luck with that. But apart from your child getting married off or you have a live organ that needs to get somewhere, yeah. you know what I mean, uh, for a transplant. I, there's nothing, you know what I mean? There's, 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 there's nothing after that. You just have to be like, well, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. Like if, you know, heaven forbid it, my mother or father passed away, it's, it would be devastating to be like, I didn't say goodbye, but then you have to look at it from a different perspective. You go, well, if they already passed away, this is a very dark place to look at it and very cold to look at it. And maybe I'm wrong, but the way I think the subtle art, not giving a fuck is you go in mentally, you go, Okay, well, clearly I can't leave here. Like I, there's no flights and there's no plan Bs because even if I got a rental and I drove, I still will be there multiple days late. Mm -hmm. So then you kind of go, well, they're, they've passed, they're resting, they're not in pain anymore. Um, I will still fly in and, and visit the thing. You know what I mean? Like 
it's different than then like they're on the deathbed and they just want to say goodbye and you're like, oh my gosh, that's a different conversation. That's, so devastating. that's a different yeah. conversation because that stuff traumatizes you. Yeah, you know what I mean. You're like, I wasn't there and they I just want to say, it. I didn't say goodbye. But when somebody already passed, then you go, well, there's time continues and there's nothing I could do by me getting there when they're already passed and just mourning with everybody else. Yes, it would be beneficial for me and others, but. It, this is not going to traumatize me kind of thing. Mm -hmm. There's nothing that I lost out of this versus like, I think if it's like Harper getting married off or the boys getting Could married you imagine? off, yeah, then you go, I feel like I was robbed of that memory that of, moment. of that moment. Yeah. That's a different conversation. Yeah. Hey, thanks for watching our Next Door Neighbors podcast. And be sure to capture the full episode anywhere podcasts are streamed and including our YouTube channel, Next Door Neighbors.